Now you know what they say. Any biking ain't easy. Oh! You know, we uh we neutraled it. Oh man. Yeah, doing yard work, hear somebody goofing off. What's going on? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all caught me in the middle of my daily meditation. I like to fire up, uh, well, this bike belongs to my ex, my ex-brother-in-law, Chuck. I like to fire up his bike every once in a while at noon and sing Amazing Grace real loud. It helps clear my mind, keep me focused. Now, this is a fast mini bike. This is a Coleman CT200 UEX. Got the Tilts and 212 E start on it. Got a big old fat camshaft in there. High performance, high flow head. It's a bad mamma jamma. Now y'all are gonna get a couple of exclusives in this video. First one being, y'all gonna get to see the front end of this bike. Only three to four living human beings ever seen the front of this bike. And only one animal, and that's a cheetah. The fastest land animal on this earth. Now, now and, Karen the, looking, and Karen the Cougar. And <laughs> Karen the Cougar. Usually they're looking at the back half of this bike. Well, anyway, in today's video, we ain't gonna be working on a power plant. We're gonna be installing a new front brake system on this thing to help keep it pulled down from speed and keep her tame, because that boy John the other day dumped this bike trying to launch it. Tell you, that boy can't ride worth a darn, but don't tell him I said that. Anyway, let's look at some parts. Don't mind him, that's my ex-brother-in-law floater. We bought a boat together in 99, still paying it off. How's it going? Oh, hey man, check this stuff out. Looks like we're working on a new disc brake kit from GoPowerSports.com. They just came out with these front brake kits for the Coleman CT200 UEX. Dirt Hog is a really fast bike, and uh, honestly, front brakes, it is past due for these front brakes. And this bike is so fast, we got to slow it down. All right, so here's what comes in your front brake kit package. You got your bracket to hold the caliper to go around your fork tube. No welding required. No welding required. That is super sweet. And they've got it set up so where it doesn't squeeze it too tight. You got your awesome hydraulic disc brake. Or, well, hydraulic caliper that we're going to put. Oh, and it looks like it might actually be long enough for me to keep these handlebars, man. We were worried. We were worried. Nice. All right. So, if you got the Chuck handlebars on your Coleman, don't worry. It'll fit. Don't, don't hold me to that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got your, got your caliper, got your hardware, your bracket, and even this awesome little piece that when this is on here, this gets bolted up, and this actually acts as another stiff leg down here. I really like how they have designed this, and they've put, they've put a lot of thought into this. I mean, why wouldn't they? Because there are mini bike people building mini bike stuff. It, it's the best all around. So I'm gonna start taking over because Chuck had to leave. Cause you know, he told, all he said was he had to go to his work because he said a joke that was so funny, HR wanted to hear it. Well, I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up what we got going on. So we're gonna pull the front tire out. Oh gosh. Make sure your bike's up on a yeah. stand and oh, secured. Yeah. And before you pull your front tire out, make sure your bike is on some sort of stand or a jack stand or uh, like a car jack or something because you're going to be pulling a good chunk of weight off the front so it's going to want to rotate to the back. John experienced that a couple days ago. Just a I will let you live that down though. I'm going to be that guy. One I, day. I, no, no, it was bad. It was really bad because I've done it before. Everybody saw that. I was like, this is a great bike. Whoop. <laughs> As you can see, we're gonna have to change the tire over from the stock rim to the new front rim. But just so we don't have any you know, hiccups along the way, I'm pretty sure we won't. But we're gonna mock up this entire front end without the tire on the rim. Mock up the, the bracket and hardware and get the, uh, get the master cylinder and the caliper in place just so we can free spin it and see how it, how it works. Make sure we don't have any clearance issues or anything. Then we'll put the tire on the rim. This is always easier with a friend. Too bad I don't have any. <laughs> Darn Chuck ran out on you again. Yeah, Chuck. It's funny, he always disappears when the work starts. Yeah, but when the action happens, he's Oh, there. he's there. You know what's awesome about this is they, they have done it to where 
it pretty it, it fits in exactly the way the other rim did. No problem. Can we ride it like that? It would clear. It wouldn't stop very good though. Oh! Oh, it's, right. it ain't that answered the question for you, Doug. I guess we can. <laughs> this is the first piece that you're going to be installing once you get your your uh, your rotor and rim in here. So it comes with some foam, and you're going to want to line the inside of these collars so that way it can't squeeze metal on metal with here. And then the the hardware that comes with the collar has a lock washer that goes in between and allows you to not squeeze this too tight. Because if you tighten this up too tight, this fork or this, I guess the fork tube will hit where you're tightening up and will lock up. <laughs> Surprise. And it will not be good. <laughs> I wonder how long it took them to figure that out. <laughs> Probably not long. Yeah, no one broke any bones. So. No, no. It is a pretty sweet design. Totally bolt on, no welding required. The next little bit of hardware that you got, you're gonna wanna put your your lock washers under the main caliper bolts and some some versions are different it comes with a little bit of extra hardware for some different spacing because this kit does fit like three or four different bikes i think maybe just two mb200 oh, in this one just two just two bikes okay so there's a little bit of different a little bit of difference in the frames but let's see So we got our top anchor and then the bottom anchor in place. We got a little bit of a little bit of a fitment issue. Um, we may need some more, a, a few more washers right behind the uh, in between this the back side of the top anchor and the actual caliper. Now I will say that this is probably one of the first versions of this mini bike that Tractor Supply ever came out with it's this thing has been put through the ringer for sure and if there's something different with the fork tube than the models that they're selling now this might be the difference but this if you guys run into this like what we're doing or running into we're going to show you how we fixed it spacer here shim there no big deal hey i had to do a lot of that on my old chevy truck too now you know what they say mini biking ain't easy got that right all right, so this is how I have the front brake kit set up. I use the provided washers as shims to give the caliper an extra step over and get it in perfect in line with the rotor. So where it's free spins, no problem. And I went ahead and drilled the locking nut with a cotter pin just to be safe. Just to be safe, I went ahead and drilled the lock nut with, for a cotter pin because I had to put an extra washer over here leave the stock one there and the extra the extra uh, the extra brace for the bottom of the bracket here just didn't leave me enough room so might be different for everybody but this is what I had to do so now I'm going to disassemble it and paint to match so it all looks good So the Go Power Sports front brake kit on this Coleman CT200 UEX Dirt Hog is complete. And we thought the best way to show you just how much of a difference a front brake makes is to run a test. So Charles is going to hop on this thing, we're going to get his riding impressions, and then he's going to get it up to full speed, slam on the rear brakes, and then full speed, slam on the front brakes, and we'll see which one stops quicker. I don't know about slamming them on. Applying brake pressure. There we go. Here we go. So Charles is going to start at the top of the hill and whenever he passes That cone He's going to start braking and then Ike is going to count off how long it took to stop yep. And then after we conclude our test We're going to run the hot lap again because I am sure that this thing is going to go much faster with the help of the front brake Absolutely. And it's a new tradition here at Cars and Cameras. Anytime we make a mini bike video, we do a group hot lap So at the end, we're all going to hop on hot mini bikes and see who's quickest.
Yeah. He's got a shorter gear on him for sure. Yeah. Hell. Let's do it. I don't think you can fit a muffler on it anymore. Oh yeah, it's right up against the back fender. Yeah, this is freaking loud. All yeah, right. he's gonna be, there's a turn here. Yeah, he'll be fine, he's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put it on this side. All right, this, all right, hope you're ready. <laughs> that was bad. This, this is so bad. bad. This is so bad. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Dude, we should have tested this on like half throttle first. I'm glad you're all right, man. But Ike saw you coming. He's like, this is bad. This, this is, is bad. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Dude, especially you were just sliding, sliding the rear tire. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I will start at... You want to restart that? And, well, no, we'll keep it the same. Did he use the front brakes at all? No. That was rear brakes only? Yeah, rear brakes. So the next, in theory, the next one will be safer. And ha definitely half the distance, yeah. if not more. So That's really less. funny. He's yeah, counting no, it, it off. Kind of, oh, yeah. Kind oh, of yeah. fishtailing it. But that's, that's rear brakes only. That was so cool. Now I can rely on good brakes. Yeah. It definitely hurt. Wow. 47. That's pretty quick for the backyard. Yeah real quick oh my goodness yeah maybe i don't need to change the gearing for uh, mini mayhem yeah don't look don't look that's really we'll funny. we'll be back after a quick commercial break when i count finish counting 162 feet wow yeah at 47 miles an hour or 48 somewhere around right in there flying dude yeah. I saw you coming and I was like, this is not good. <laughs> All right, let's run it again. Front brakes. Do you, do you or feel actually comfortable Yeah, we're gonna it? hit but we're gonna hit both this time, right? Yeah. yeah so let me... Okay. All right. Yeah, I hit my head though. Yeah, you did. Uh, that's why you always wear helmets. Yeah, a thousand. Wherever percent. the camera is, I don't. Uh, I can see though, so it wasn't that hard of a hit. Yeah. Everybody okay? I mean, are you okay? I'm fine. You stopped really you fast. Stopped you stopped real fast. incredibly. Yeah. Like that was way too fast. I, that I, was way too fast. Maybe ease up on the front brake, Charles. I'm good. I'm gonna count this off. You want me to get your helmet for you or anything? I'm okay. Uh, Usually I'm it's good. like laying on the ground. No. Uh, I'm good. You want to sit in the shade for a minute? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll cut, the, I'll cut this camera. 69 feet on nice. that one. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, Charles, are you all right, bud? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, good. What was the last one? It was 160 something feet. So he stopped almost 100 feet sooner. Then, uh, he just stopped like sixty percent faster. Yeah. Holy yeah. moly! So uh, it stopped me so fast I kept moving and the bike stopped. <laughs> yeah. Good job. So that's a uh, that's something I'd put on my bike. Absolutely. Right. Just yeah. try and stay on the bike. Yeah. Yeah. From a friend. The. Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm okay though. I'm glad you're okay. That that brake seems to work pretty good. It's 
okay. You know, we uh we neutraled it. Oh man. Four L sixty it. Yeah. <laughs> good I, I feel like I could have gone faster the front brake helped uh, in several of the corners but uh, I gotta say I I found myself not using it that much because uh, I'm not used to it oh but about half the time I was using the front brake cool so I'm still got I still got to get used to it as well yeah I think I can get another second out of it but that's a I was going as comfortable as I could and uh, those corners were somewhat It's a very smooth. small bike. Huh? Yeah. It's a very small bike. It's a very small bike. Well, let's go check out your lap time and then it's uh, time for my favorite. <laughs> our little wheel-to-wheel -wheel race action. Sounds good. I think uh, 30 minutes of riding on this thing, boy, I would be killing the track. Yeah, you have just hopped on this. Yeah. No This warm -up. is really probably the third time I've ever ridden this thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I've got to say that the Dirt Hog performs better with the front brake. I am unfamiliar with the bike. I've only been on it. I, I can count on one hand how many times I've ridden that bike. So, yeah. uh, And I've had that bike longer than I've worked here. Yeah, so. so Charles can most likely do a faster time, but he's not feeling up to it after after dumping the bike, so I took over on it. And I think I did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so, Charles? Yeah. All right, so you want to know your time? I do want to know All right, my so time. So this is Dirt Hog front brake kit. Am I on the board? Yeah, but not top ten, unfortunately. Okay, but that's okay. All right, it's you know the fastest. What is it? Yeah, the fastest mini bike is right there. Yeah, at ten and nine, nine and ten. So okay. your time for the Dirt Hog. I'm ready. A one. Yes. Zero. Okay. Three point uh, nine six. Oh, uh, I know. So uh, I'm I, way down there. Look, with a more confident rider on the bike, and potentially even a lighter rider. No offense, but so maybe someone lighter than me. I bet you that time will be more or less up. That'd here. be John. Yeah. So uh, I got to say, I, I really like the Dirt Hog. Yep. It's a nice ride. It performs pretty well, and that front brake I think really transforms this bike. Oh yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, I've had that thing countless times, way too fast. And yeah. trying to use the back brake Obviously. just to slow it down doesn't work. Yeah. So having that front brake gives me that little extra confidence. I need to squeeze it a little less at 47 miles an hour, but I, yeah. I, I'm learning. <laughs> so I, I guess that's it for this video, right? No. Oh no, no, we're suiting up for the a feature. group. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go for a a ride, guys. So uh, I guess which the next might, shot, which might turn a into ride. a race. Yeah. So uh, I hope not. We're gonna be uh, suiting up and uh, getting ready for a ride. All right, let's go. We'll see you out on the track. So we are ready for our race. I am riding the OG Trailmaster bike with a, I'm gonna say a medium well done engine on it. She's kind of spicy. Charles is on the Dirt Hog and it's got a very spicy Tillotson engine on it. And we just installed that front brake. So I'm gonna be sweating a little bit on this race and John, He's riding the Honda Trail 70 with the 140 engine on it. So he's got gears he's got to worry about. So uh, this ought to be a very interesting race. I'm really interested in seeing what's going to happen. So guys, let's go ahead and hop on these bikes and go for a lap. All right, group warm up. 
Come on, baby. not fun. I'm wearing too much gear for this thing. <laughs> it doesn't look fun. <laughs> Trail 70. Slack, dude. <laughs> I almost died so many times. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying. Huh? <laughs> That's that was, good. That good. That, you've already had one wipeout today. That thing is way faster on the track than I thought it was. Were you be. cutting that? Were you uh, going hard or were you taking it easy? I couldn't. I was having trouble getting around you. That's funny. Yeah. And then, of course, <sighs> whenever I was like, I thought y'all gave up. So I was slowing down for y'all on the uphill and I'm like turning around and y'all aren't there and then all of a sudden y'all were there but y'all weren't slowing down, y'all kept coming so I got on it. <laughs> I did have the best intimidation tactic and that was to crash into Charles at the beginning of the race. Yeah. All right, so third place goes to Charles, although I think he's first place in my heart because that legendary wipeout earlier today. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, buddy. I think you proved that the uh, the Go Power Sports front brake kit for the CT200 UEX yeah, it uh, is extremely the effective. It stopped the bike, but didn't stop me. Yeah. Second place, the Honda Trail 70 1974. Really has uh, no place being competing with uh, mini bikes like this, but it was a lot of fun. Super sketchy. Still, if you've never ridden a old Honda Trail bike, you need that experience sometime in your life. They're awesome. And first place. Mr. Isaac on the Trailmaster MB200. Cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video this week. Uh, if you have the Coleman CT200 UEX and you want more safety, more stopping power, consider the front brake kit from Go Power Sports. Super easy to install. We had a lot of fun with it. Leave a thumbs up if you want more of these cutting up videos. Uh, they're so much fun, as long as we don't get hurt. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. You know, you remember that pop that you felt when you backed it up? I bet that was the master lead. No, Whoops, it's so funny. That thing said, Vroom! and then blue chunks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you drop something? Yeah. yeah. Look, look at the last time when That's this happened. It. Hey, uh, look Charles? At the, yeah. There's no drag at all now.